But if all in Adam have sinned, then how can Christ, who is descended from Adam, be sinless? And indeed, Paul clearly says that Christ is so descended. Was David descended from Adam? Yes or no? We all agree that it is so. And in fact, David inherited sin because of this. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. That is Psalm 51, verse 5. David is descended from Adam, but Paul says of the gospel to his protege, Timothy, remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead, according to my gospel, for which I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even to the point of chains, but the word of God is not chained. If David is of the seed of Adam and Christ is of the seed of David, then Christ is of the seed of Adam. Everybody got that? In proper theology, one plus one will always equal two. To support this further, the author of Hebrews says that Christ arose from Judah. The term seed of David cannot be misconstrued or twisted because of this. The genealogical record does not allow anything but a real descent from Adam through these men and then to Christ Jesus. But this is only true in his human nature. And so where is the dilemma resolved? It is because of a young Jewish girl named Mary. Whether Mary is of the line of David or not is debated. She was a cousin of Elizabeth who was clearly from the priestly line of Levi through Aaron. But this does not mean that Mary was. It could be that the mother of Mary and the mother of Elizabeth were sisters descended from Aaron, but Mary's mother could have married a man of Judah. If so, then Mary would be reckoned as being of the tribe of Judah through her father. Regardless of this, though, Joseph was of the tribe of Judah and of the house of David. It says in Luke 1, Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. Because the line of a child is based on that of the father, to include all inheritance rights, the birth of Jesus would have been reckoned as such. However, as the account tells us, the Holy Spirit came upon her and the power of the highest overshadowed her. God is the Father of Christ. As sin travels through the Father and as Christ's true Father is God, he inherited no sin. The rite of circumcision, the sign of the covenant, is simply a picture of the incarnation of Jesus Christ. It is the cutting of the sin nature because of the cutting of that which transmits the sin from father to child. Picture fulfilled. Hence, circumcision is not required to be included in the new covenant, as Paul clearly states again and again and again in his epistles, especially in the book of Galatians. 